Have you ever watched a building go up and wondered, how in the heck does that thing stand? It's a testament to the power of structural analysis, the unsung hero of construction. But here's the kicker. Nearly half of all structural failures happen because someone messed up the analysis. That's right, folks. Bad math can lead to some seriously bad outcomes. We're talking collapsed bridges, crumbling buildings, the whole nine yards. And let's not forget about the cost. Rebuilding after a failure? Let's just say it ain't cheap. As an engineer, I know firsthand that structural analysis is a serious business. It's about understanding how forces work, how materials behave under pressure, and how to design structures that can withstand the test of time. And gravity. It's the foundation of safe and reliable construction, and it all starts with getting the analysis right. Now I get it. Structural analysis sounds a little intimidating. It's got analysis right there in the name. And for a lot of folks, especially students just starting out, it can feel like you're trying to learn a whole new language. You've got equations, diagrams, and enough technical jargon to make your head spin. But here's the thing. It doesn't have to be that complicated. Sure, structural analysis requires some brain power, but it's all about breaking down complex problems into smaller, more manageable chunks. Think of it like building a bridge, one beam at a time. Let's start with the basics, forces, moments, and equilibrium. Forces are pretty straightforward, right? Push or pull, that's the gist. Moments are a bit trickier. They're like rotational forces, trying to twist or bend something. Now, where things get really interesting is with equilibrium. In simple terms, it means everything's balanced. The forces pushing down are equal to the forces pushing up. The structure's not going anywhere. It's like a tug of war, where both sides are perfectly matched. And that's what we want in our buildings and bridges. A nice, stable equilibrium. Bridging the gap. A real-world example. Speaking of bridges, let's talk about those for a second. Imagine a suspension bridge like the Golden Gate. Beautiful, right? But there's a ton of engineering going on behind that iconic design. You've got the weight of the road deck, the pull of the cables, the force of the wind, all acting on that structure. A structural engineer's job is to analyze all those forces, figure out where the stresses are highest, and design the bridge to handle those loads. They gotta make sure that bridge stays standing whether there's a traffic jam or a hurricane blowing through. That's why structural analysis is so crucial. It's the difference between a bridge that stands the test of time and one that, well, doesn't. The foundation of safe structures. So there you have it. Structural analysis. It's not just about equations and diagrams. It's about understanding the forces that shape our world, from the smallest buildings to the most impressive bridges. It's about ensuring that the places we live, work, and play are safe and sound. Now, I'm curious. Have you ever wondered about the structural analysis behind the buildings in your town or the bridges you cross? What piques your curiosity about this field? Let me know. And if you're hungry for more, there's a whole lot more to learn about the world of structural analysis. From understanding load distributions and material properties to mastering advanced techniques and software tools, the field offers endless opportunities for discovery and innovation. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced engineer, exploring the depths of structural analysis will enhance your skills and broaden your knowledge. Trust me, it's fascinating stuff. Comment below on which particular aspect of structural analysis you would like us to cover and we will make a video on it.